Trump, just truth socialed out. Heading to Lower Manhattan, the courthouse, seems so surreal. Wow, they are going to arrest me. Can't believe this is happening in America. Make America great again. I read this and I feel sad. I feel sad for our country. I sat there at that presidential debate in August of 15 and I threw A plus level questions at Trump and the others because that's my job as a member of the media. Trump didn't like some of them. Some of the others didn't like some of them, but that's how you raise contentious issues with candidates and let them show the country whether they're up to the job. Then the people decide. That's our process. This, what's happening to him by people who are angry about his popularity with Americans right now, angry that he was elected in the first place, is un-American. This is, we really have crossed an ethical, legal, historical, foundational line that is a before and after moment for America, Rick. It's a red alert. It is a red alert for this country. And I, I am saddened to think about what has now happened. Um, this is a Pandora's box. We will never, ever be able to go back. Um, I fear what uh, future conservative Republicans are going to do to get back at them. I fear that. I, I think that we're in this situation where we're delving to the bottom. Where are the Democrat thoughtful leaders? Why are they not stopping this? Why are they not rising up? They are literally afraid of the ruling party. And let's be honest, it, Joe Biden is that figurehead. He's like the puppet. But the people behind him that are doing this are the comfortable ones, are the ones who are not getting media scrutiny, who have big jobs, big power. They made a lot of money after Obama's. Uh, you know, they went on Netflix boards and and media boards and made millions and millions of dollars. Now they're behind the scenes and they're crafting all of this stuff. This is un-American. And I, I just say, you know, for all these people who want to say, oh, I don't like the mean tweets, you're going to lose your country if you do not realize what's happening. And that's why I've been very upfront and, and I've been candid about saying that I think Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis and others should immediately drop out. They should recognize what's happening in, in our country. This is not a normal situation. Um, and by the way, I, I say that um, I think Ron DeSantis has done a good job as governor, but it's the governor of Florida. Um, he's he's not been in Washington, D.C. I did not agree with him when he said, well, I haven't had any leaks in Tallahassee. So that means the bureaucracy really is going to like me. Um, that That's naive. Uh, when you go to Washington, D.C., it's a different game. Um, mm. I, I'm just not so sure that he's ready yet. He needs more time. Um, and, you know, the other thing, I like Charles Cook. I was listening uh, beforehand. I like him. I respect him a lot. But I, I haven't seen him out on the campaign trail in all of these swing states listening to voters. And if there's one thing that Rick Grinnell knows, it's the swing state voters. I've been all over constantly paying my own uh, way to go and listen and go to all these rallies and help our candidates on the, on the right. And I have to say that uh, there is no question in my mind Donald Trump is the nominee. Uh, you just have to talk to regular voters. You don't have to talk to uh, blue, mark, blue check marks on Twitter. That's a whole different mm -hmm. conversation. But the people who are showing up and calling uh, in every single county across this country, the activists, there is no possible way they are going for anyone other than Donald Trump. He's mm, won you know, this nomination. I said, I said uh, to that, I said to the National Review crowd last week, Rick, I said, don't let, because this is, they're more DeSantis, you know, backing, as you know, they're not big Trump fans over at NR. And uh, I yeah. said, you, you guys should not let the fact that you are done with Trump blind you to the reality that the country may not be. You know, you have to keep an open mind. We're in the midst of a presidential race. And yes, DeSantis yeah. hasn't declared. We all know he's likely to. So, I mean, of course he has to be factored in. But I'm not sure. The, what, 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 I'm not sure he's actually going to Yeah, you think he might not? I, 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 I think that um, he's never made that decision yet to do it. I think there are a lot of people making a lot of money on the super PACs and, and you know, how the that whole crowd, the political crowd loves to make money off candidates. So there's no question that all of that is happening. I'm not sure that um, he's running. I never have been sure that he was running. I think now when you look at the polling, 
Um, you know, Trump is surging. The money is surging. Um, he's under uh, some scrutiny and attacks. Um, I, I got to believe that the few people around him that are making the political decision are looking at it and saying, Ooh, I'm not sure we may ruin ourselves with the MAGA crowd, mm-hmm. even for 2028. Uh, like maybe this isn't, maybe, this. yeah, maybe this isn't your, well, that's an interesting uh, thought because I, I have heard that DeSantis's plan right now is to focus on winning over core MAGA. Like he knows he's got the NRs of the world. He knows he's got the more establishment Republicans rooting for him. The Lincoln Project, <laughs> they are not gettable by anybody affiliated with MAGA. So he's focused, I'm told, on trying to win hardcore MAGA voters over to him. And there is a real question about whether they're gettable, whether whether the best way of doing that is just to wait, just wait until Trump's not in the way and MAGA's not mad at you for interfering with his chances and so on. But before we spend yeah. more time on DeSantis and Trump, let me take you back to something you said about the Democrats. Their response to all of them, you say, where are the party leaders? Where are the people to stand up and say, this is wrong? I mean, we're going after maybe a misdemeanor on bookkeeping that they're trying to create into a felony based on an underlying alleged campaign violation that even the feds didn't charge and in which there was also no victim, no victim at either level. What are we doing? For that, we crossed the Rubicon? What? So where are the Democrats? And their response so far has been, no one's above the law. No one's above the law. No one is above the law. What do you make of that as a longtime guy who understands Washington better than most? They created sanctuary cities. They're going to tell us no one is above the law. They've created entire cities where you get protection for breaking federal law. I mean, come on. We're, we were born at night, but not last night. This is ridiculous uh, that to, to, for any Democrat to say no one is above the law um, is a joke. We all know that they have protected uh, people who surge across the borders. I mean, there's there's countless examples of people who are absolutely above the law. They, I wish that no one was above the law, but let's go back and look at what they've done. They've tried to impeach Donald Trump. They told us for four years, just get his taxes. You get his taxes, you'll prove he's not a billionaire. You're going to embarrass him. You're, you're also going to see he didn't pay his taxes. That story went away in six hours. As soon as they got his taxes, it dropped so fast. So all I'm saying is, is that this is all politics. And I get it. I'm a big boy. I get politics. But we should have a media that calls out this phoniness, that calls out these fake arguments. And the reason why the Democrats keep, you know, making things worse, the reason why they keep going for even crazier ideas is because they are not being stopped by the media. There's no check. There's no nobody who's pushing back. And 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 again, I know a lot of these reporters. I, I have a lot of friends who are Democrats. They'll privately say to me, oh, gosh, this is not good. We're, we're going to really ignite the Trump people. And also, I think independence. It's now it's no longer just about the base. Um, I live in California. I live in Los Angeles, California, where there are a lot of soccer moms who always vote for Democrats that are my friends. And it's something has happened with them. They're seeing, you know, their 401k go to a 201k. They're watching as their kids are are literally having to call people uh, different genders in school. They're watching as some of their, I have a situation where I live in Manhattan Beach where, where a young girl is literally contemplating having her breasts removed. Now, I think that her parents should be arrested. I think anybody who is allowing uh, a minor, someone who's under 18, who, by the way, has to have a card to go to an R-rated movie, but we're going to give them hormone blockers and we're going to let them change their body like that when they can't even get a tattoo, but now they're going to have their breasts removed. I mean, all of this is mounting. Common sense has evaporated. And that is because the Democratic Party is allowed to go crazier and crazier by the media. And I think that it's a tipping point. Now that it's spring, it's time to get outside and enjoy your backyard. And it's actually feeling possible, doesn't it? But does your backyard need a makeover? Is it fun? Is it a good place to exercise or hang with the fam? Start with the perfect centerpiece, a Michael Phelps swim spa by Master Spas. A Michael Phelps swim spa can transform your backyard into an oasis. The swim spa is an alternative to a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. Michael Phelps swim spas have a water current so you can swim, do aquatic exercises, and have fun with the kids. 
And because it's heated, you can choose your perfect water temperature and then use it all year long in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard, even if it's a small one. And this is not a long, intimidating project. In fact, delivery and installation can take less than a day once your space is ready. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. You will love your, Ma- your Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK, and that will save you $1,000 on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.